Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to install a Photoshop action, and I'm also going to show you how to apply it all at once. Uh, there's are a lot of tutorials out there on how to install it, but once you want to use it, it doesn't always necessarily make sense. So I'm going to show you how to do both all at once, guys. We're going to do it very, very quickly. And it is a little confusing, and we do have to do a couple of checks. So here we go. All right, I'm using a picture of my puppy dog. His name's Kingston, and I dragged and dropped it into Photoshop just like this. Now, the first thing, and peculiar enough, you're going to notice that it is loaded as a background layer with the lock on it. That is required for, for actions. So make sure that the lock is on and it is set to background. If you don't see that, you can go to layer new and over here you can say uh, layer from background and it will change it back to the background. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, also, you want to check under image mode and you're going to want to make sure that you're set to RGB color and 8 bits per channel. You can change this back to whatever you were using before once you're outside of actions, but for actions to work right now, apparently this is required. So please do keep that in mind. Okay, those little caveats and peremptory marks out of the way, let's get into business. Now, the second step before I install the uh before I install the action, I'm going to create another layer, and I'm just going to click here, create a new layer, and I'm going to rename it to brush, and it's going to remain lowercase. Also, I recommend that you keep this as the word brush because, A, we are brushing his face, so we're going to brush where the uh, effect goes in, and B, it looks like the naming convention is an issue currently in Photoshop for actions. So. Uh, just keep that in mind that it guarantee I can guarantee it'll work if we do it the way we do it here. If you don't do it this way, it may or may not work depending on the state of Photoshop. Um, then next step, guys, we want to go over to the brush tool and select the brush. I've got a pretty big size brush here, and I'm going to go ahead and paint with a red color. The color does not matter. We are basically just painting where we want the... Um, the action to apply itself. So I'm going to paint in here and in his face and maybe over around here. I'll leave his eyeballs out of it. Um, and we're going to go a little over the top only because we want to show the effect, right? This isn't this isn't supposed to be subtle. We want to show how the action works and is implied. So there we go. We've applied some serious paint to this very handsome doggy's face and boom, we've got us a nice little paint mask, so to speak. Now the next step, it gets a little trickier, and you want to go now to Window, drop it down to Actions, and then here's where it is. You see these four little lines or the hamburger menu up here at the top right of that panel? We want to left click on that, drop it down, and now we're going to get the option to Load Actions. This is where we want to go. Click Load Actions. You're going to see here that I have three actions inside my teaching directory. Yours could be located on downloads. They could be anywhere. And wherever they are, you want to find them. Also, do keep in mind that there are a lot of free ones online. Your friend could make you an action. You can buy really, really high quality ones off of like graphicriver.net. Lots of actions out there. Go nuts. We're going to use the fury for this one because I like that word. And I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click open. Now you'll notice that the action has not been applied. It has been loaded. It is in our actions panel here, not applied. We need to go one more step. You want to click down below the group and you want to click on Fury. And now we're going to left click on the play selection. And this could take a minute or two to apply, but you're going to see the action in all its glory. Let's get this rolling. Left clicking. Bang. Now the action is going through all sorts of thoughts. And I have a pretty fast uh, CPU. I've got a quad-core, hyper-threaded, like a, a good MacBook Pro, and even this takes a few seconds, right? So um, depending on how strong your computer is, this could take potentially up to three minutes. Um, but boom, here we go. We've had the action applied to our puppy dog. Now his eyeballs are gone, and I don't like that. So before, after, you'll see that. Now I'm going to dial back the opacity down a little lower just so we can see what's happening okay you know what I get it so the fireworks and the stuff is there um, also guys I would probably 
go ahead and make some changes to this where I would sort of like, you know, mask out the eyes or, you know, um, paint them in so we can see the eyeballs and stuff like that. But that's for a different tutorial. That's working with this particular action. But in order to install and to get the action in motion, guys, for some of you that are newer to Photoshop, this is exactly how you do it. Every step here works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. I'll be right back.